Hey guys, this is Lindsay with LinkyLouville.com. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on layer masks. I'm just going to do a really simple little text layer. We're going to throw it behind Claire's head. But this can be applied to virtually anything and everything. I use layer masks constantly because I do all my editing in um, layer adjustments. And generally, those adjustments I do, I would want to only target a certain area. So we're just going to do it with the text today, but by all means, you can do pretty much whatever. Um, I've got a few other videos coming up that show different ways to do it. But anyways, let's type in Claire Bear in a fun little taunt font. And let's resize it bigger, hold the shift key down, and then grab at the corner. And that's going to resize it, but maintain the proportions. If I weren't to do that, it would see go all gross and crazy. But anyways, um, we'll go back into text and we're going to throw in a little bit of a bend on this one. Not quite so much. That's a little crazy. Okay. Move it back behind her head. What's the point of this? And then let's go into layer styles. Let's put a color overlay. I like pink. I think pink is pretty. And <laughs> bevel and emboss. Um, depth, size. Let's just make it crazy off the wall. You know what? Actually, no. Let's just do stroke on the outside with black. Let's do that. I don't really like the whole bevel and block boss thing. It's kind of cheesy. Turn it off. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah. Um, inside though. There, that's more fun. See, and if you guys didn't know this, this is all kinds of crazy fun way that you can change pretty much anything. Um, mostly used for text though, but let's do a drop shadow size, make it feather out more, click OK. Okay, so Claire Bear. But what we want to do is we want to have it um, not go over her head. Now if we were to do a layer mask now, which the layer mask is down here in your layers window, which if you don't have this open, go to window, click layers or F7 I guess. Um, you click on this little guy and then you paint on top of it with your paintbrush and black black takes away and white adds so it's already there and so it's white and then if I add this black it takes away but the problem is because we've done these layer styles it's going to do this the stroke so we don't want to actually do this I'm gonna go back to what it was before we're gonna delete this layer mask and we're gonna do what's called convert to smart object now if you're doing like some kind of like a multiplied background or something, you don't have to convert it to a smart object, but because it's a text with these layer styles added, we had to do that. So converted it to a smart object. Now you see that those layer styles aren't there anymore. They've just been applied to the image. Now we throw in our layer mask again, and now we start painting. So we're gonna zoom into Claire's head with the brush tool and black as our foreground. We're going to start painting um, hardness. We want to be somewhere around like 80% for this because we want a pretty good solid line but not like super harsh. Um, I prefer to kind of just like take it away first and then re-add it. So as I said black takes away white adds. Um, and a good shortcut to know if you start doing a lot of layer masks is the X button. The X button toggles back and forth between black and white. So when you're doing like a lot of really nitty gritty and you're zoomed in and you're going back and forth between adding and taking away and adding and taking away, to eliminate having to keep going back here to the palette and switch it, you just use the X tool. So I'm trying to add in here, so I want white. And then we're adding in here. Just do a really quick rough one. And I'm pretty much going to call that good. 
actually no I can see back there okay there we go control zero hits fit to screen it's pretty much done there so there's before after not really a before and after but I'll show you if I disable the layer mask it pops back out oh just deleted it disable the layer mask and then enable it okay there you go so that's just a little quick tutorial on layer masks which once you learn how to use them you'll use them far more than you ever imagined you could have um, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions on future videos or tutorials or what you guys would like to see here cuz I'm not doing this to teach myself <laughs> um, Leave me a comment either on my blog or send me an email at linkylouville.blog at gmail.com. Thanks. Hope you guys are having a nice day.